Let me get an additional unit over here, code two, if you will. Assistance required. Thank you, dispatch. Uh, hey, sir, can you stop right there? Fayetteville Police Department, I need to speak with you, man. Uh, sir, yeah, stop right there for me. Way. Fayetteville Police Department. Dude, I need you to stop walking away from me. Fayetteville Police Department, I need to speak with you. I need to see some ID on you. You have some ID, man? Kiflam. All right, let me see your ID. Get on the ground, get on the ground. Oh, Damn, he pulled a gun on me. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Let's just tap this guy right there. Get in the car. Get in the car, okay. Uh, thank you, bulletproof windows. Get down on the ground. Welcome to my Golden Games, and welcome to another episode of LSPDFR. For this patrol, it is a subscriber requested by Julian Moore, and they wanted us to do a Fayetteville Police Patrol. It has been a long time since we've done one of these, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. And Julian, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, the vehicle this time around is Blue Ghost's 2016 Dodge Charger. And the livery is done by subscriber Oceans Bay. Seriously, once again, man, you're coming in with the clutch, looking amazing. Look at that design. That is awesome. So let's get around the car really quick, do a quick walk around. It looks amazing. Again, Blue Ghost vehicles as well. The lighting we on there and his the vehicles look amazing. The uh, labs. Humane Labs, okay, that's nowhere near us. I also installed, uh, let's see, an update for United Callouts and uh, shoot, some other ones. I'll have them in the description below. Um, yeah, so anyways, let's get out on the road here. Dispatch, you can show me 10-8. We're over by the church. We're going to be getting onto US Route 1, and we're actually going to be swinging past the station and uh, driving around that area. So we'll let's see. Let's see. Turn signal looks good. I do love when the turn signals look amazing. And look how good that looks. Like, it looks really good. All right, so we got a Jeep Wrangler right there. Let's take a left over this way and get down on this dirt trail. We're going to go to the promenade and patrol around there. We'll check some vehicles, make sure Nobody's got any, like, uh, you know, warrants for their arrest or, you know, ins no insurance. Stuff like that. We're looking for vehicles that have flags that, you know, basically give us the right to tow their vehicle. All right, so we got a Jeep Wrangler over here. I really don't want to have to tow it, so hopefully everything on it comes back clean. Uh, but let's get over here and dispatch. Let me get a plate check on a gate that didn't work. Let's try that again. All right, let's get a plate check on this Jeep Wrangler, license 67 X-Ray Foxtrot, Foxtrot 192. A house fire in Vinewood Hills, that's nowhere near us. Uh, Freddy Krueger, zero citations, registration 2004. Okay, so it looks like we're good. We got one more vehicle over here that we need to search, and then we'll get back on the road. That is the Coast Guard station right over there. Let's see, dispatch, let me get a plate check on a BJXL, license 86, Whiskey James Boy 627. Man, I'm going all over the place today with the alphabet. What am I doing? Uh, Jake Thompson, 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 Man, I cannot handle it today. I haven't had coffee or juju in like three or four days. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I need, I need to have a juju, I think. All right, guys, we are back in the game here. For some reason, Rage Plug and Hook crashed, not Grand Theft Auto, which uh, I'm thinking that's from one of the call out packs I like, just updated. I haven't actually had like a Rage Plug and Hook crash in a long time. Usually the game just like hard crashes and Rage Plug and Hook doesn't even pop up saying, you know, that it crashed. So uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's get around here. Uh, these vehicle, that car's a little far from the curb. Okay, we'll get a we'll get a plate check on it. Let me just move over this way here, and we'll just get our traffic advisory light on just just to be safe. I'm going to need a plate check in a minute here. It looks like it's a Ford GT. Let's get around here to the license plate. It's a license 03 Robert Boy Victor 047. Uh, security guard requesting assistance. Copy that. Uh, no citations, no flags. All right, we'll let them be. Looks like we have a security guard that's requesting assistance, so we'll go and head over there. 
Oh, wait, that was a little bit far away, so we'll head over there. I'll see you guys once we get there, though, because it is a bit of a drive for us. So it's on the other side of the town, so I'll see you guys once we get over there. Let's uh, gun it here. Oof. This car actually drifts really well, too. But uh, all right, guys, I'll see you when we get over to the location. Dispatch, we're heading northwest on Union Road. We'll be to the location in about a minute to 30 seconds. All right, copy that, dispatch. All right, guys, so I hope you guys do enjoy the episode. Uh, look at the plane up there. Oh, uh, yeah, if you do enjoy the episode, please hit the like button. It really does help me out when you do that. And maybe come join our Discord server if you've yet to do that. And, you know, you know, really, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Why haven't you subscribed yet? Let's get down this way. I think right now it's about 20% of people are subscribed that watch the videos. I mean, it's pretty typical of, you know, most YouTubers, I think. But, uh, yeah, let's try to increase these numbers and let's get some more subs. Whoa, what is this dude doing? Okay, I'm going to ignore that because we got to call that over this way at the gas station. All right, so let's uh, pull in here. All right, uh, let me pull over this way. Hi, uh, security guard, how's it going, man? Uh, so it says we've got a person here with a warrant on cider, possibly attempting to leave. They want you out there looking for him. Okay, uh, do you know who this person is? Um, I don't see anybody. So, yeah, there's a dude over there in the middle of the road that I saw. Was it some, uh, darker skinned person? Yeah? Okay, so this is probably the guy that has a warrant for his arrest. So we're gonna head down this way to the right. So I get down this way. Scroll lock, or I'll put that there. Uh, there's the guy. Alright, dispatch, I've got a visual on the possible warrant person. Let's, uh, get our lights on here. Let me get an additional unit over here, code 2, if you will. Assistance required. Thank in, you, dispatch. Uh, hey, sir, can you stop right there? Fayetteville Police Department, I need to speak with you, man. Oh, sir, God, stop right there for me. Way. Fayetteville Police Department. Dude, I need you to stop walking away oh, from me. Fayetteville Police Department, I need to speak with you. I need to see some ID on you. You have some ID, man? Kiflum. All right, let me see your ID. Yeah, thanks. All right, Craig Johnson. All right, hang in there, man. Uh, I think we have to do it this way. Don't Dispatch, worry, let me get a pet check on Craig Johnson, born 10-6-1995. Thanks for showing up, Deputy. Uh, suspended license, outstanding warrant. Okay, let's get the taser. Right. Uh, I'm going to have you get down on the ground for me. You have a warrant for your arrest. Keep your hands where I can see him, buddy. You will get tased. Let's go down on the ground for me. Okay. He's cooperating, I think, because we already got him. Okay, so we'll we'll do this then. All right, turn around for me, man. All right, so it looks like he's cooperating. He's going in willfully. All right, we've got him in custody, dispatch. Uh, I'm going to question the suspect now. All right, so you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights as they have been read to you? You do. All right, would you like to answer any questions for me? You'd be willing to answer them? Okay, okay, cool. So, do you want to tell me what's going on today then, man? Why do I care? Well, I mean, when I drove up, I saw you standing in the middle of the road. I don't know why you were standing in the middle of the road. That's a little dangerous. Uh, anyways, before we can take you down to the station, I'm going to need to ask you, do you have anything illegal on you? Anything that's sharp that's going to stab me, poke me, stick me, like a used needle, a handgun, a pocket knife, anything like that? Uh, no, you don't? Okay. So, you do know you have a warrant, right? Maybe from another state yet. Yeah, so, yeah, that's why we picked you up today. We got word that you were over at the gas station. And then I guess you started walking down this way when you heard people call the police. Uh, so, anyways, I am going to patch you down then. So, turn around for me, man. All right, thank you for cooperating with me today. I will definitely have that in the report saying that you were cooperative. Uh, binoculars, a clown mask, mosquito repellent, and a, badge of, or a baggie of meh. Okay, so that's not going to be good for you, man. That's just going to be another charge, but uh, let me let me grab you here. It's no big deal. Uh, it's just going to be another charge on your record. It's 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 going to be a little bit more time in jail. But uh, overall, because you were really cooperative, we'll see what we can do for you, man. I do want to thank you for being cooperative today. All right, coming through, Jeep. Coming through. Let's get you over here. And let's get him in the back seat of our car. 
I'll place him in the rear seat. There we go. All right, step in the back seat, man. Watch your head. Thank you. All right, deputy, we are code four on this one, so thank you for showing up. All right, so dispatch, we're code four on this one. We're going to be taking the suspect back to the station. And let's get in here. And let's go pet records. Greg Johnson. Great arrest warrant. All right, so he had a arrest warrant for transporting undocumented immigrants. That's a pretty big, that's a pretty big crime. That's, I'm pretty sure that's a felony. Uh, anyways, we will do possession of meh. And then it was also, let's see, nonviolent crimes. I believe it's all the way at the bottom here. Warrant for their arrest. And other than that, they were cooperative with us, so we're not going to need to charge them with anything. Oh, my goodness. That last one from 2018 when he was arrested. Okay. I'm not going to say that one. And Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go to the court cases. All right, so the possession of meth fined $3,000 and one year in prison. And then for having his warrant, he was fined $2,000 and three years in prison. Okay, so let's close that there, and just so you can show me returning to the station. Let's get that there, and I will see you guys once we get back to the station. Well, nobody saw that, yikes. I'll see you guys once we get back to the station, because we do have a bit of a drive. So, uh, yeah, let's see you in a second here. All right, boys, we just got to stop off at the gas station really quick, fill up our car. We don't currently have, you know, the fuel mod installed, because I don't have any scripts installed. We're just going to role play it, though, because, you know, why not? Uh... In real life, where is the gas cap? It is right there. Okay, so we're gonna pull up right there. Okay, so let's just get the gas. Bloop, and bloop. All right, so we're just filling out the car then. I hope you guys again are enjoying the episode. It's been a while since we've kind of just like taken it easy, kind of made it a little more realistic. I, I, I just kind of felt like doing that for this episode for whatever reason. So yeah, all right, looks like the car is filled up and there we go. Bloop. And, all right, bud, let's get you back down to the station. Again, I want to thank you for being cooperative with me. So let's get down this way, and, uh, yeah, hope you guys do enjoy the episode. And, you know, maybe consider subscribing again if you haven't already. Drift this car. Oh, it's so nice. This car really handles nice. Okay, we got just a stop sign there. No big deal. And then let's see the interior. Wow, oof. That actually does look really good. Holy, wait. Whoa, the gauges on this car actually work? Most of Blue Ghost Car's gauges don't work, unless... Because I did update his pack finally after, like, months of it being out. I finally updated it. Um, maybe he updated some of his older cars, or I just didn't realize some of his cars always had working gauges. Okay, we're just going to get through here, no big deal. But yeah, it really looks awesome. And then, you know, when you did the light box, or the light controller, up at the top right here in the middle of the screen there. Uh, how it actually lights up. I love that he did that. It is amazing looking. And uh, anyways, let's keep going down this way. Dispatch, we are arriving to the station now. We're going to be pulling the suspect around back and bringing him into the cells. Um, that car is a little sus. Hold on. Let me just pull off really quick. Let me just get a play check. Dispatch, I'm gonna need a play check before I return to the station. I'm really, yeah, I'm literally right around the block. Uh, there's just a vehicle in this parking lot that is in the weeds. So it's just a little suspicious looking. So it's a fugitive license 60 George Zebra Young 501. Target vehicle license plate. Frank six, Mason, zero, zero citations. George no registration, Zebra, expired Young, insurance. Five, zero, one, All right, dispatch, let me get an additional violation. unit over here. Code a 2. No registration and expired insurance. So I'm going to search the vehicle then. And we are okay, going to uh, get it impounded. Repair pan. Okay, and nothing of interest. Okay. So we'll just get this vehicle impounded then, and we're going to get down to the station. Let's get a large flatbed for this vehicle. Hey, Deputy, thanks for showing up. Yeah, we just had this suspicious vehicle here. It's expired registration and all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm just getting the tow truck for it. There's nothing inside the vehicle. All right, so it looks like we're good. Uh, Deputy, you are good to get out of here. I just got to get this uh, fugitive over here down to the station. All right, so it looks like we are going to be good. Tow truck's on scene, and it's picked up the vehicle. Let's get our lights off there, and let's get around to the back of the station and get this guy brought into a cell. All right, bud, let's get you into a cell. 
Like I said, once again, thank you for being cooperative with me. So many people just try to fight me right off the bat. It's it's insane. So yeah, seriously, thank you for being very cooperative. Okay, man, so I'm going to get you out of these cuffs then. Just hang tight, and uh, yeah, you can uh, phone a lawyer if you need one. All right. Let's get out here. Let's close the set. Close this up. Okay, there we go. The cell's closed. Hey, officer, what's going on, brother? Thanks for holding the door for me. Ah, uh, brother, take it easy. Looks like they're having issues with the door, so they're keeping it locked from now on. Somebody might have escaped recently. Hmm. Okay, well, we're back in our vehicle, so let's back it out this way. And let's go right over this way. Man, I gotta say, though, this car really does look good. So, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, as well as hitting the little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos go up and when we do live streams. Take it easy, guys. Come join our Discord server as well.